certainly using uh, band ligation um, as a method. Um, and what we realized is uh, that you know our nursing staff and our front desk staff, uh, you know, would see these patients, grown patients, sometimes leave crying, <laughs> which was not uh, not good. Um, with with the um, adoption of infrared coagulation, the precision technique, which is endoscopically based, um, has been a, a big big improvement in our practice. We have now uh, done about 15 of these over the last several months, and um, we have not had one patient leave crying. <laughs> My experience with this device has been uh, very impressive thus far. The patients are very enthusiastic about it. Uh, they can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it, see the results on the tissue, and thus far it appears that I'm utilizing fewer sessions uh, and getting better results with the device as well, so I'm very happy with the device. What we found with other types of treatments uh, was that we weren't getting very precisely to the area that needed therapy, uh, and we also had difficulty seeing and many patients seeing the or visualizing the hemorrhoids. The precision device utilizes either a flexible colonoscopy or a flexible sigmoidoscope and through the common channel you deliver the light source and you can under direct vision uh, with the retroflex scope visualize the base of the hemorrhoid uh, arterial supply feeding the hemorrhoid and specifically and directly uh, coagulate to that lead point vessel under direct vision and it's uh, extremely easy to use. So with this, we've not had to use pain medications for any of our patients. They've not had to experience sitz baths or they did not have to miss any time from, from work. They were able to go back to their daily activities, uh, walk, sit, uh, go to work full time the next day. I think the biggest um, thing for the patient is the decrease in pain because with the banding we used to have a great deal of pain right afterwards and even when I called the patient um, the next day or two days later they would complain of a great deal of pain. I've found that the patients are tolerating the retroflexion of the scope much more than I ever thought they would in my patients who are awake for the procedure. I think um, giving them the visibility as well as me the visibility is what makes them probably tolerate that retroflexion more than I expected um, because I get to see what I'm doing they get to see the instrument, they get to see the effect uh, on the mucosal surface from the hemorrhoids as well. So I think um, that that's actually a, a bonus for them as well as it seems to be a more effective uh, therapy as well. Well, so far we've been tracking our reimbursement and with most of our payers, uh, we've gotten a very decent uh, reimbursement that's been satisfactory for us in the clinic. As an infrared coagulator, it's basically going to be a hemostatic agent as well. Not only is it going to help thrombose uh, vessels feeding hemorrhoids, we could use it in uh, arterial venous malformations. It may potentially have some use in proctitis. Uh, also, um, more forward thinking, it may have some applications in uh, natural orifice uh, surgery as a hemostatic device as well. Um, so I, I think its, its limitations are boundless, actually. It's a wonderful device.